Hello fellow creatives. Today I'm going to show you a feature in Suno that I found to be quite interesting. A way of you prompting using inspiration. How did we get there? One more time. You're in create. Step one. Step two. Custom. You want to be in custom. And when you are in custom, not only do you have the option, let's get rid of inspiration, because when you are in custom, you see up top here, you've got the audio influence, or you've got the persona influence, or you've got the inspo influence. And the inspo influence allows you to pick from a playlist. Pick from a playlist of your own songs to inspire your next creation. Only your music will be used to shape the sound. And this is exactly what I was telling people about when I said there will be a model in the future that will allow you to model the music with just your sound. I have some music that was created just without any influence. It's like not from here. And if I wanted to shape my music from that, I could. And right now, I am going to show you an example of just that. I am going to go into Suno. So let's go to my library right here. And in my library, I'm going to look for the Confusionist. Confusion. The Confusionist is a song from my album, Inventors of Our Time, this one right here. So I'm going to add this to a playlist, add to a playlist, and I'm going to create a playlist. This is going to be a uh, human uh, prompt prompted music okay so we're gonna create that playlist we're gonna choose human prompted music all right now I have the confusionist okay it is in there okay fair enough so when I come back to create and I go to inspo human prompted the confusionist is the only track I need I want it to be an instrumental, so I'm going to prompt and say um, a boisterous drums keys odd timing syncopated. Okay. Go into advanced options. I really want the audio influence up there. The style, somewhere around 70 is fine. And I'm just going to call it Confusionist Inspired. Okay. So that's it. Featuring my buddies on that, that really sizzling track. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit create because we got our inspiration um, I could give it a little bit more context um, say moving from calm to chaotic chaotic uh, avant-garde uh, so just to give you further context of the song. All right, 
you get the idea. So it's extremely, extremely hard. All right, this all real playing, you know, the sex, the, the breasts, the, the woodwinds, you know, all real, the drums programmed. Don't ask me the time signature because I really don't know. I just felt it and I sequenced it. And I want to I want to try this inspo out on human music. This is because it's been framed by my music entirely, which is really cool. All right. So what I'm listening to, I know that it's my influence. Isn't that cool? It's learning from my music. So much for people who said, well, it's learning from other people. And no, this is my music. So let's listen. Here we go. It's going to be fun. Wow. 
<laughs> that is wild. The Confusionist was already a crazy song. This made it equally crazy. Although the original, still prefer the original, but this is a very good uh, allotrope. Let's listen to this one. Ooh. This is more like it. my friends i think this is a sign of things to come for the longest time people have accused creators of stealing because they feel the music is generating something using other people's work as a creative uh base or springboard now as i've shown you in this video you can use your own creation to train the AI. Let me go back because I really want to make it clear what you encounter when you are using this tool. When you click on inspiration, pick a playlist of your own songs to inspire your next creation. Only your music will be used to shape the sound. And I tested it and honestly did suno disappoint absolutely not because i know my music this was released in 2013 and suno took the music modeled it in the creation of something new and to me it sounds pretty good um it's just refreshing and exciting to hear my music in a different mold so when you use suno generally it incorporates a larger data set obviously but with playlist I find I can relegate the sound creation, the production, to just my stuff. You may ask, how does this differ from audio? Well, playlist allows you to have a wider pool. The only thing is, if they are not complementary tracks, you could be shooting yourself in the foot, as you saw in my example, 
it has too much to go off of and it might be conflicting but if you go with one or two complementary songs you're likely to get a more coherent uh, cohesive output all right my friends well thank you for joining me look forward to seeing you next time you take care and bye for now <laughs>